Welcome to the solstice event for summer of 2023 in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, this is Brian Besco at Twisted Sage Studios, and we have gathered here live with a few of our graduates from the Soul Alchemy class to assist in holding this space so that as you watch this, you will be within this space as well. And as we all come together, soul to soul, within this safe, sacred container that we create, we all hold those higher potentials for each one of us to step into this space, this space of allowing and this space of release. But it is ultimately up to you to make the choices for the release. So here we go. Um, truly, everything is a choice. When we came here in this lifetime, we came here with a blank slate, just the human divine. But as we come through and into this world, we choose to carry those things, hmm, those things that make up this reality. And a lot of what you are is not actually you. Some would say a vast majority of who you are and what you are is not truly you that these are things that you inherited one from the ancestors and that is the dna the bloodline the energy line and so as we come in we inherit the programs the belief structures the dna the traumas the energy lines from all of our dna bloodline energetic lines our ancestors and so that makes up some would say the majority of your physical body and everything that we experience and so a lot of this comes from uh, one of the new classes well one of the classes that i just took from the crimson circle on it's a sexual energy school which really doesn't have anything to do with sexual energy it has to do with energy in the first place on how people come here to have these experiences separate from their divinity and they step in and they they have a box of limited choices of limited potentials of creation uh, for soul growth learning for experience for wisdom's sake. Um, and this is something that we talk about, you know, in the soul alchemy class and in other places and, and on our 50 questions Fridays. So it's just simply the concept of who you are as the human and as a soul. So we've been doing clearing of soul aspects. So our past lives do not really affect us as much right here as we begin to integrate all of our soul aspects we come together as more of a whole and complete being a multifaceted being basically i see that as like this diamond and this diamond is your soul in each of the facets is a part of you one of the facets of this soul is you as the human here and now and so we've been integrating that and this is occurring throughout humanity anyway, is that we are bringing together all of our lifetimes, bringing them in as wisdom. Basically, as we, as we allow those lifetimes to step in, in alignment with soul, then it is bringing all of those experiences into wisdom. So you're not carrying the old traumas, the old baggage from your lifetimes. So we've, we're at a point here to where we've done all of this integrating harmonizing of who we are in in this new energy that began in march and when this opening came in march it was about a three month period of time to where it would take for us to begin to integrate this new light so that and it integrates within and then it starts to come into our world so for the past three months this light has just been 
it's been fostered between the cells within the human. It is our, our light, our divinity. And now that we are holding this light, it is now to the point to where it can start to radiate into our creation. And there's been some things for, for a few of us, and, and I'm sure a lot of you, that there's been physical issues that have come up over this past six months to a year. And for me, I really anticipated that some of my physical issues would just disappear as soon as we had this March 22nd date, this opening of this box uh, into unlimited potentials of creation. But it has still been there. And again, everything is energy. Energy is patterned by consciousness. And so there are some things that come into your reality that, again, everything is your energy and your energy is simply patterned by consciousness. But there are also within this whole concept of consciousness, energy, light, waveform particle, there is something in this process of bringing in consciousness, energy, light, waveform and particle that there's distortions that occur and these distortions can be these old patterns choices that we carry these patterns these choices that we choose to carry unconsciously it's not like we as the human here and now are like okay i want to pick this to carry all my ancestors luggage their their traumas their belief structures their religions, their, their, their everything, um, that we choose to carry these. So in this new space and here today on solstice, we'd like to step in and release these choices that we have made that help to pattern and structure our reality, our creation that includes the physical, mental, emotional, and your entire life situations. So this really is huge, you guys. We're stepping into truly being conscious creators and not conscious creators from here on how we project things out of fear, necessity, and survival. Rather, we have amassed enough of our consciousness and light that as we step aside, we allow our light to pattern all of creation in a new way that is not as prone to all those filters that we as the human carry our own programs beliefs and such so all right a lot of talking um let's cover a couple of concepts real quick and please just be open and feel into these concepts and that is that there's no one outside of you to blame for the way your life is. You can't blame the one percenters, the bank, the government, your neighbor, your family. These are patterns that we choose to come into creation. And so many of us see the world as outside of us and we are just simply the ship without a sail and we are just at the whim of all these energies around us. And as we went through the soul alchemy class, we started to hmm, relearn that this energy is all yours and it is here to serve you. Good, bad, ugly, beautiful, otherwise but that energy is here to serve you. But it is time that we can step in as a conscious creator and make the choice to allow new patterns, to clear the old, to release the old. So just having the concept that there is truly nothing outside of you that has made your life the way it is that this is truly all your energy based on your choices, your creation is. 
So what is yours? Um, there was another channeling from Tobias who, who brings through a lot of really wonderful, wonderful things. Um, Tobias is the one who brought Journey of the Angels and about, it's a really wonderful book by Jeffrey Hoppy who channels Tobias. Um, and he talks about, you know, the whole concept of coming from soul or from I am to soul to the fracturing of soul of all these potentials, all these lifetimes, all these experiences. And what we've been doing here over the past year or so is bringing all of these fractured parts of the soul, all these experiences, lifetimes, think of it as this giant um, asteroid belt. And all of these little asteroids are simply your lifetimes, your experiences. And they're fractured. They're, 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 they're separate but they're really all part of the whole, but yet they appear separate. And we've been bringing all of those in to that multifaceted gem is what we have been doing here for this past year. And a lot of that is talked about in the journey of the angels. But anyway, um, Tobias would talk about that. What is yours is only what you choose. So everything that is in your creation is what you've chosen. Um, and if you chose to be a victim, that is what you will receive. And so if you continue on into this world and you still choose to play the victim role of it's the damn government, the education system, the the neighbor the family whatever it is if you choose to play the victim that is what you will continue to experience is being the victim if you choose to step in as the powerful creator that you are that to me <laughs> is is the logical way to go um so all the influences um Mass consciousness is another influence on us. And so Tobias would say that the majority of your thoughts are truly not yours, that they are one, the majority of hereditary, of ancestral, and two, mass consciousness. And so we can step in into this space here and choose to release all of those that no longer serve us. So we have the newest chamber sitting back here and it is basically a space of nothing. We did this in our last 50 questions Friday. Gosh, I don't even know what day it was. I believe it was in here in June of 2023. Uh, the 50 questions Friday we did at the very end, we held this blank space, the space of nothing. It is basically that reset space. It is that space that is nothing more than your energy and all of its potentials, this giant sea of energy. And it's just, it's blank. It's black. It's nothing. It is just a calm, infinite sea of energy that has not been acted on by your consciousness to then pattern all of reality, all of your creation. So it's basically like the zero point space that then if you as the human can step aside and let go of all of those choices that you made to pattern energy into your creation, this blank space is basically allowing your conscious to come in and repattern all of creation into higher potentials. Now it is it's kind of a thing to wrap your head around, but as a multifaceted being, you are not living just in this lifetime at this moment. You as that beautiful gem of a soul, multifaceted gem of a soul, you have within your, within your everything, all of these facets. So you are, you are all of these at once. There's no linear time within the soul. You are all of your creation all at once. That is a lot of wisdom. 
Um, gosh. So anyway, um, holding the space because I'm just trying to get a little bit of the logical, the mind on board with this. Um, so that the, the, the mind, that part of the human can begin to loosen up and allow the release of some of those choices. Another tool that we have is this mini activator. And I have one up here at the camera, one here. And it again is just holding that space, helping to amplify and broadcast that into this safe, sacred container that we are creating. So let's just begin. We're going to go into the heart space and we're going to connect with each and every one of us here, soul to soul, so that we can create this safe, sacred space. And then we're going to step into the work. So going into the heart space, taking that breath from earth, that breath from you as creator, God, soul. And that third breath is where you are grounded, connected, and in the heart space. Begin to invite in all of your light, asking all that you are to step into you, embodying your light. Perhaps say that beautiful, wonderful phrase, I am that I am. I am all that I am. And all that you are is that multifaceted divine being of light. So inviting all that you are within, becoming bright and vibrant. As we stand outside of the field of creation of the you now and here human, we stand from that higher vantage point of the soul And we also stand as the human. So let's begin to make our intentions of releasing the choices that pattern all of our reality, releasing those choices that no longer serve us. releasing any connections to the ancestors that no longer serve, that no longer serve you as this multifaceted divine being of light that is also the human in experience. Be sure to take some deep breaths. So the human is the one who makes the choices. The soul is the one who does the work. So we work together. You as the human, you as the soul. You as the human is the one who says, I release all that no longer serves me, these choices. These choices to take on mass consciousness, these choices to take on the projections of all my soul aspects that have not stepped into wisdom. And if you find yourself in this blank space, that is absolutely perfect. Just allowing your mind to go blank. It is this peaceful field of untouched potentials within this field of untouched potentials. We are releasing, completing, bringing to wisdom 
those potentials which no longer serve us. And we make the clear conscious choice. So make your clear conscious choice that you no longer carry those choices that are not yours. So what is yours? The only thing that is yours is what you choose. So again, nothing is forced upon you. It is your choice to bring any of those experiences in, any of those experiences that are not yours to carry. <sighs> Beautiful. I see so many of you just sitting those down, laying down the choices that are not yours. These patterns, beliefs, thoughts and emotions that do not belong to you. Just letting them go. And in your joy, in your passion, your soul's heart's desires, that is what then interacts with your energy to create, to create new patterns. So any of those old physical things, emotional things, mental things that you've been carrying that are not yours or that no longer serve you is simply letting them go and saying, okay, I choose a higher path. I choose higher potentials. I choose the potentials of joy and of creation which serve me in a new way as a master creator. Beautiful. Oh, and I see you all standing as beautiful, vibrant lights as the human, as a beautiful, vibrant light. So as we have discussed in our soul alchemy classes and other places, is that once we make the choice and we allow these old potentials, these old energies and these old creations, to dissolve, we don't keep trying to heal and fix and fight and worry and put our hmm, undue, non-beneficial attention onto these things. <laughs> because <clears throat> as the creators that we are, we then hold those things in creation. So as we move forward, it is a trusting and an allowing of those things, those creations to dissolve. We are in a new time, in a new paradigm, in a new energy. And it doesn't work the way that it used to. It's so much simpler. Simplicity. All right. So again, as you move forward, try to embody your light as much as you can. Stop and take those breaths, go into the heart and invite in all that you are. I am that I am. I am all that that I am. I am my light, I am my human, I am divine.
and you truly are a master creator. So thank you for being here, for helping to hold space for all of us to step out of all the old creation and into the new. All right, I'll just sit here and keep chatting. So we'll close this up now. And again, thank you for being happy solstice and we'll see you again.